Hey YouTube, I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be doing a look at how to add 10 gigabit LAN capabilities to your PC at home if you have a decent motherboard that can support a PCIe X4 network card. And we're going to talk about how to leverage a PCIe slot that only has two lanes. Because this card here from Wavelink does 10 gigabit. This features the Marvell 10 gig network interface, which is pretty much the same standard NIC that you would find on high-end flagship motherboards that include a 10 gigabit network interface. So that this is basically one of those as a standalone card. So you can add this to any X4 slot, as you guys can see here, we'll be talking about that. So I have here a Gigabyte X670E Aorus Master. This motherboard is unique in that it has, in addition to an X16 Gen 5 slot, it has an X4 Gen 4 slot and an X2 Gen 3 slot. So either one of these can support the full 10 gigabit bandwidth from the Wavelink 10 gig adapter. We're going to do some network speed tests to prove that. Let's go ahead and do an unboxing here real quick. So the card is pretty straightforward. It has a low profile bracket adapter if you need to use that. With the included screws, it has a included USB thumb drive with the Marvell drivers to get the 10 gigabit device working. And then some Wavelink driver download links in here. And a safety information. So this is what it looks like. So pretty straightforward stuff. You can see this is an X4. PCIe interface, so this could go in this second slot like so, or it could go in the X2 slot. Now, the bandwidth requirements, as I've shown in a previous video, uh, linked in the card section of this video, you can use two lanes of PCI Gen 3 to achieve full 10 gig bandwidth off of a card like this Wavelink here, for example. So we're going to actually plug it in to the bottom slot of this gigabyte motherboard, which means that it's going to be operating on two lanes of Gen 3, because two lanes of Gen 3 is the minimum required, or four lanes of Gen 2. Now, the reason why the Wavelink comes with an X4 slot is probably for backwards compatibility with older motherboards that have an X4 or greater PCI Gen 2 slot. So we're going to be installing it in this bottom slot, which is PCI Gen 3 X2. Uh, we'll have a diagram of the motherboard block diagram showing that there. Just to show it here how it's installed in the system, so you can see this is the motherboard. We have the Wavelink 10 gig Ethernet card in the bottom PCI slot. And then right above it we have a Thunderbolt expansion card in the X4 slot because that one requires the four lanes. So system is fully loaded. This is kind of a video editing station, so it does need to benefit from the high speed of the 10 gig. All right, we're gonna do a quick file transfer here. So I've got the Wavelink installed in the X670E system. So you can see it shows up as the Marvell Fastlink Edge 10 gigabit network adapter. And then over here on the left, I have another PC with a standard included 10 gig, which is also Marvell. Marvell is the OEM that provides the 10 gigabit network interface for a lot of these add-in board PCIe cards like the one from Wavelink here. So you can see that you're getting a proper 10 gigabit ethernet adapter here. So we're gonna go ahead and start a file transfer just to kind of show that with two lanes of PCIe Gen 3 on the motherboard, we're able to get the full speed. So we're gonna start the transfer now and we can see that the files, I'm basically copying my Epic Games folder across the network here. And just give it a moment here. So there you go. So it is transmitting at the full speed of around 10 gigabit. Now it's gonna change in speed periodically because we're transferring a lot of different files. So as it it finishes one file, and it starts another file, etc. So that's how the 10 gigabit can help you with your workflow if you have a home LAN or a system, a file system that you want to be able to transfer files very quickly. Overall, 
if you're somebody who is curious, because I've gotten questions on some of my live streams from time to time about networking, what's the point of having a 10 gigabit Ethernet port on a motherboard versus not having one, well, hopefully this video sheds some light on the benefits of having something like this. So if you do want to pick up one of these, I will leave a link in the description below. One more thing that I just noticed, one thing I like about it is it is low profile. So for example, if you plug this in on your motherboard underneath a graphics card, because it's low profile, it's not going to block the fan on the GPU that much compared to other network adapters that are similar competing solutions that have a much taller PCB that takes up a lot more space and covers up the fan for a GPU. So if you guys found this video useful, if you have any questions, leave a comment below, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.